It's taken Peter Anderson four years to build his body to this shape. Now 20, he'll be competing this weekend along with 42 other competitors for the title Mr. Australia. This is the world of triceps, biceps, laterals and pectorals. Bodybuilders may take themselves seriously, but the public at large don't seem to. I think the attitude of the average Australian is that uh, you know bodybuilders are a, a different type of person than anybody else. But uh, in fact, when you get to know them, they're uh, reasonable, quiet, intelligent type people who are very dedicated. Why do you think uh, the majority of people, and I suppose the the press and television to a large extent, always seem to make fun of bodybuilders and bodybuilding? Um, I think it's because they've never really regarded it as a sport. In other countries, in Asia and Europe, they regard it as a sport. And a bodybuilder who reaches the peak, he's regarded as being an athlete. Uh, over here, I think there's a little bit of envy uh, from the normal person. When he sees somebody with a good physique, he's, he tends to rubbish him a bit because that's his only method of uh, getting back at him. A policeman by profession, 20-year-old Peter Napoli, has only been bodybuilding for nine months but he'll be out of uniform tomorrow to display the results of his labours. For the serious devotee, the training's hard and the diet important, but anyone can do it. Uh, most of the chaps that I know that are bodybuilders in Australia, and I know them all, started off thin guys, or very small, demure chaps, and they came into a gymnasium to, to put on a little bit of muscle. Some of them were very ashamed of it and uh, they start getting results and what happens is then they, they say, gee, this is all right, you know, I'll take it up as a sport, you know, and this is what happens. Whereas the bigger guys, they don't care, all they want to do is lose a bit of weight or keep fit, you know. It's training and dedication which has paid off for this man, Arnold Schwarzenegger, five times Mr. Universe, three times Mr. World, the biggest body in the business. At the top for 10 years, Arnold knows that bodybuilding doesn't have universal appeal. In some countries ago, people think that if you're a bodybuilder, you're narcissistic because you look in the mirror and they don't understand that the only way you see your progress of your physique is by checking in a mirror or uh, stepping on a scale or taking a tape measure and measure, measuring your muscles. Uh, so that's how the preconceptions come up and uh, they think that maybe if you train 10 years and you stop your workouts, you will fall apart, you know, you turn to fat, and uh, that's obviously wrong because muscles never can turn to fat. And uh, it, there are a lot of preconceptions. Some people even think that if you are involved in your body, that you are homosexual, you know, because it's something very bad to be involved in your own body. It's good for the female, but not good for the man, which is stupid, you know. And uh, there are many like that. Misconceptions aside, the bodybuilder is, like the long-distance runner, a loner. Their friends are usually other bodybuilders. But women, they claim, love them. Arnold Schwarzenegger appears to have had very few problems with women. No, actually not many. I, I, there were a few uh, girls, I can say, that they found it too much or too big because they're not used to that, you know. It's, uh, but uh, most girls like uh, good physiques and... Uh, in America, like I say, the, the people are much more educated as bodybuilding and they're much more into it and uh, the girls over there pro take it probably much more than in Australia, but uh, I haven't found a girl yet in Australia who hated muscles or thought it was gross or anything like that. If there was a men's liberation movement, they'd possibly label the exhibition of the male body beautiful as nothing more than a prize beef market. Whatever the views, tomorrow's prize at Melbourne's Town Hall will be the Mr. Australia title and perhaps the incentive to follow in the footsteps of Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's proved bigger and better things mean more money in the bank.